FM, they vote for it. Uh, and, and, and they do so unashamedly. Uh, proper progressive black middle class that is not money driven, that doesn't want to benefit from uh, uh, Rothschild, Rupert, Oppenheimer, uh, 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 Richard uh, Branson of, of, of Virgin, what one? Only blacks who don't benefit from that, the black elite, believes in the EFF, black middle class. So I can tell you now, go and check the votes of EFF in the areas where there are black people. You are going to find votes of the EFF. So, um, uh, and then an organization like that you say is dying. It's not dying. There's the, in any election, there will always be dynamics. And the dynamic now is there was an emergence of this party. Uh, now we know it. Uh, I mean, what President Zuma did to us is what Mashaba did to us uh, in Johannesburg. And then once we became aware or there is a problem called Mashaba, we went to solve that problem, Shem. It's done. <laughs> we finished it. You, you can go around and ask. For sure, he's taking quotations of <laughs> hair products now. He's going back to do hair. <laughs> Don't have time. <laughs> we, we came here making noise. We reminded him many times. Now you behave like you are something. And then the country told, showed him that is nothing. And they... And, and, the rest of those other people who went to eat people's monies, they received so many millions, so many. They can only brag about one seat and all of that. The biggest loser in this election is the ANC. And we must never try to be clever and shift that to the EFF and want to project the EFF as if it has lost a province or it has lost a country. People lose a country, people lose a province. You want to say the EFF has lost. What? <laughs> we have won. And he legas talko men. Little ori kere ya relega mo di ofisi inja bo ministera. Jam musho. E I'm now this time on area te na she ma vila arto e men. Ahai arto e men. Little negotiation jana jo ori adi kwa mara. Ya ute na. Ya ute na area te. Mm. Yeah, eh? <laughs> 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 Because we have to sustain this organization. We, uh, we accept the result, but it doesn't mean when there's a discrepancy there, you can't raise it. To raise a discrepancy does not mean you are rejecting the results, because that discrepancy may not have material effect. Even if you succeed, it will just give you, you are added 1,000, you are added 2,000, but it's to teach the IEC also a lesson and principle and expose these shenanigans that there are people who are swapping results from results slip and captured. So it's a principle we need to pursue. But when we looked at those discrepancies, that they are of no material effect. And therefore, uh, you can't say on the basis of that, you reject the result. We accept the result. We accept the defeat. We are unable to congratulate anyone for, for being elected president. Because there's no president now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no one. No one, no one. Even the one who's, current, who's the current now, he doesn't know if he's going to be president tomorrow. Yeah. I just came back now. 
ke bo etse hore bo jwa lodi tshwanje di boye di asuka no o nyaka hore o bie ibe o ka sibie ibe o ka gara o se president ya o bolela o bolela o khwatishe ka no must not talk after talking can't what are you say bitli e o te ni baba khuluma want to hear what are they saying and we are not going to call them well, I will don't call anyone. They will call, they will call us if they want us. And if they want us, we are here. We are not going to disappear. Uh, let's talk. And out of those talks, the people of South Africa are going to benefit. We thank the Rasmatas in all the universities. There's no single university that we lost. The young intelligentsia is the one that is able to read and internalize the 240-something election manifest. So, uh, and, and we're going to do bashes for them. We're going to celebrate those victories in all those institutions where we won. We have told the Youth and Student Mobilization Committee, go back to thank those young people who stood on the queues and voted for the EFF. We must remain in, in close contact with our voters. Thank you. No, thank you very much, I, Commander in Chief. Uh, we'll take the last round of hands. Is no, no. Uh, there was a story of government of national units. Renasser now Mandela. We don't. We don't do government of national unity. We don't want it. So, we want coalition. We don't want government of national unity. We will end up with the wrong people. Thanks, Commander-in-Chief. Uh, we'll take the last round of hands, and uh, you must uh, forever hold your peace if you don't raise your hand now. There are no follow-ups after this. There are many other businesses, as they have heard, that uh, the leadership must be engaged in. So I'm going to start from the back there, that gentleman there. You are number one. My sister, you are number two. You are number three. Um, is there any, any other number four, five, six? Okay, I can't see you. Seven? No, no, six is six. I counted it. Another one? Okay, seven, yeah, we see you. We're closing at seven. No, okay, that's fine. Number one at the back there, can we start? Sir, you can ask your question. Uh, Faraz Patel from Hilal TV. Uh, Mr. Malema, I want to ask about uh, the ICC arrest warrants for Benjamin Netanyahu and UF Gallant. What is your take on that and how much of a litmus test this is going to be for international law? And added to that, obviously, the EFF brought the uh, motion to remove the Israeli embassy from South Africa. If the EFF is in a stronger position now to get it removed, what happens then? Thank you. Thank you very much. Sound guys, please give us a proper sound. Number two. Good Hello. afternoon. Everyone, Zoleka Kodashi from the SABC. Um, Mr. Malema, I want to know, you make the comparison between Action SA and MK um, as being the new kids on the block, right? Um, I want to know, though, will you deploy or employ the same method that you used with Action SA, or would you be willing to work with the MK party and to what extent? And if that is the case, and then we do see a relationship forming between the MK party um, and the EFF and potentially the ANC, would a precondition be that um, the president of the ANC step aside um, for that relationship to take place if the ANC does not act against him? Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, we'll go to number three. Good day. Uh, my name is Lizzie Gatandwa. I'm from the Sunday Times. Um, Mr. Malema, some have said that um, how you um, narrated your view on open borders might have uh, hurt you in these elections in that you were seen to be a bit antagonistic in your messaging. Um, have you reflected on that? And as well as when you say that you are going to um, ministries, 
Uh, are you still intent on having Mr. Floyd Chivambu as the finance minister? And my third and last qu question, well, it isn't. It was Stair's question around whether your negotiations, will they encompass the entirety of the country or you, will you focus purely on national? Thank you. Thank you very much. My sister, they, they skipped you. Lisa. Thank you. My name is Deborah Monyegi from Love World Set. Mr. Malema. So, sorry, sorry. The last one. Okay. Lisa, can you please uh, repeat your question? But make it pointed, the last one. Uh, just in terms of negotiations, um, obviously with um, MK dominating in KZN, it kind of limits the uh, conversation with um, the ANC in, in that province. So what kind of negotiations will you go into the ANC with? Okay. Um, my sister? Thank you. My name is Deborah Munyeki from Love World Set. Mr. Malema, at the World Health Assembly last week, on the 28th of May, the member states of World Health Organization read 